first and foremost, it's not just about science and technology, it's about curiosity. Inevitably, curiosity will lead you to pursue things that have more of a technical background, but you'll understand math when you actually put it in context of a problem. And so it's why problem-based learning can be such a powerful tool because you get kids curious, you give them the tools to do something, you put them together in teams, and they accomplish amazing things. And those are the lessons that they take throughout life. We're changing the way we do education. I'm so proud to be able to bring the inspiration of space into the classrooms here and there. A huge thank you to Joseph Hart, our mentor from Lockheed Martin. He has been so helpful with the whole project so far. In the wake of dawn, I see you shine. This is so fun! When I feel that heartbeat, heartbeat, I fly. So I'm Alex and I'm in year eight. We have to research what shapes we need. So certain shapes may not hold pressure as well. With pressure differences, they may shatter. We also have to find out what plants would grow well in lower sunlight. And if we're just gonna skip the sunlight and go for UV lights, we have to find out um, how, t how tall they are on average so that we don't crowd them in and how, how far apart they need to be so we don't and so they don't strangle each other down the wall, take my hand don't let go skyward down the ultimate goal is that we should have a working prototype we were going to have one but ultimately we did not anticipate 40 kids wanting to get involved so we said well instead of having 40 kids just building one it's got to be real it's got to be tangible they've all got to have their own stamp on it so we've they've put themselves into small groups of six or seven they've all got the different areas and they're all going to build this thing together and ultimately throughout the whole academic year we want some kind of produce created through whatever means that they have decided that they're actually going to do. Walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm the team leader of Martians, um, and I'm going to be talking about um, the design of the greenhouse. And we're going to have like a war system, so it's going to be. I think we're doing shower heads or sprinklers. I think it might be old shower heads, and we're using hydroponics as well. So. We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky We are heroes tonight yeah. We are heroes tonight I kind of like space and I like building stuff If you see my room there's just like so much Lego It's unbelievable At first I didn't know what hydroponics was um, then, then you introduced um, aquaponics, which is uh, fish, and then Jake, who's now left, um, he has like told me a lot about hydroponics, and I did some research on it, and I like understand it more now. Right up in the sky, I need you to listen. I need you to hear, and don't show. Maya and we're making a greenhouse to go on Mars and we've chose to do a hexagon shape and we, we might change it because like we need to collect the water for it to drip off so we can water the plants. Maya and um, I started like the engineering club because I like engineering and um, my well the group um, has been working very well with the greenhouse idea and um, we have some clay stuff that we're using so we've already built our greenhouse and we have some clay pebbles to grow all the seeds in and I know that we're going to be doing I think we're going to be doing strawberries and dandelion seeds and this is the greenhouse and we're going to put some LED lights in and Ellie and Izzy 
Leo working on that and um, Abby's working on the crops. <laughs> shape has changed but we've gone for a, a rectangle shape and also our plants we'll be using are wheat, tomatoes, mushroom and radishes. Um, so we're going to have two layers so the bottom layer will be mushrooms because they don't need as much sunlight and we're going to utilise the sunlight. We've also got mirror sheets um, to use as well. So um, the tomatoes, wheat and radishes should go on the top bit of the greenhouse. You can't see it right now that like, there's a top bit, but there is going to be a top bit as all of our like supplies haven't came. and studying space something that you would like to carry on with is, is that really inspired you yeah absolutely I'm, I'm definitely looking into careers with uh, space and space exploration well it's amazing to have met them because they work with real life uh, and they know stuff about Mars and it just really puts it into perspective about space travel and what's it going to be like. The message is you will be part of space, enjoy it.